Picture the scene, April 9, 1865, Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. The American Civil War draws to a close. A conflict that had torn the nation apart for four long, grueling years was finally reaching its end. The surrender of General Robert E. Lee to Union Commander Ulysses S. Grant at the Appomattox Courthouse is a moment etched in the annals of American history. This was the final act, the closing curtain on a theater of war that had claimed more than 600,000 lives. But the significance of this event transcends beyond the mere cessation of hostilities. It marked the end of an era, the dissolution of the Confederate States of America, and the beginning of an arduous journey towards healing and reunification. With the surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, the Civil War ends, but for many, the battle has only just begun. Imagine the journey home, Confederate soldiers returning to a society transformed by war. As the echoes of the last cannon fire faded, a profound silence fell over the battlefield. The once vibrant and bustling southern landscapes were now reduced to mere remnants of their former selves. The soldiers, weary and disillusioned, ventured back to what they once knew as home. They were greeted not by the familiar comfort of their homesteads, but by the haunting spectre of desolation. The once lively farm field stood abandoned, the crops withered, and the soil scarred by the relentless march of war. Homes that once echoed with laughter and shared stories were now silent, left to the mercy of the elements. The soldiers found themselves in the midst of a ghost town, a chilling reminder of the costs of their chosen path. The emotional toll was immense. Imagine the heartbreak of a soldier returning to a home that no longer existed, or the despair of finding his family gone, displaced by the war's chaos. The homecoming was not filled with joyous reunions, but rather the grim reality of loss and abandonment. The landscape of their homeland was a physical manifestation of their internal turmoil. Every fallen tree, every ruined home was a mirror to their shattered lives. They were constant reminders of the devastation that had been wrought, not just on the land, but on their very identities. These men, once proud and resolute, were now ghosts in their own land, grappling with the harsh reality of a society they no longer recognized. The war had not only stripped them of their cause, but had also left them feeling estranged in their own homeland. This journey home was a path of realization. It was a stark awakening to the fact that the world they once knew had been irrevocably transformed by the ravages of war. Their dreams of a triumphant return were dashed, replaced by the grim acceptance of a new reality. Returning home was not the reprieve many had hoped for. Instead, it was a stark reminder of the cost of war. The South, once an agrarian society, now faced the dawn of a new era. The end of the Civil War marked a significant turning point. The South, with its vast cotton fields and tobacco plantations, had been a region rooted in agriculture. But now the winds of change were blowing, ushering in an era of industrialization. As the war-torn South began to rebuild, the shift from an agrarian society to an industrial one was a monumental challenge. The South had relied heavily on the labor of enslaved people, but with the abolition of slavery, a new workforce was needed. The introduction of factories and mills required a different skill set, and many former Confederate soldiers found themselves grappling with unfamiliar tasks and trades. The abolition of slavery also brought about a significant social change. The Emancipation Proclamation had granted freedom to millions of African Americans. Now, these freed slaves were integrating into Southern society as free people. This integration was not a smooth process. There were tensions and conflicts, as the society that once enslaved them was now forced to accept them as equals. The Confederate soldiers, returning from a lost war, were now faced with a new battle on their home turf. They were not just fighting for their livelihoods, but also grappling with a changing social order. The world they knew, the world they had fought for, was transforming before their eyes. This transition period was a time of great uncertainty and upheaval. The South's economy was in ruins, its social fabric was being rewoven, and its people, particularly the Confederate veterans, were struggling to find their place in this new landscape. The South was not just recovering from a war, it was undergoing a metamorphosis. 
The old order was giving way to the new, and these changes were not easy for everyone. For the Confederate soldiers who had fought to preserve a way of life that was now fading into history, the adjustment was particularly challenging. The South was changing, and for many Confederate soldiers, these changes were hard to swallow. The war was over, but the battle for the South's future was just beginning. The Reconstruction era, stretching from 1865 to 1877, was a time of profound legal and political challenges. It was a complex period marked by the struggle to reintegrate the secessionist states back into the Union and to define the status of African Americans in American society. The federal government took the reins, aiming to rebuild the South and restore its place in the Union. Yet, this task was far from straightforward. The South was war-torn, its economy shattered and its social fabric torn apart. Above all, there was the question of what to do with the Confederate soldiers who had taken up arms against the Union. In order to facilitate the process of reintegration, the government passed several amnesty acts. These acts pardoned the Confederate soldiers for their participation in the war, allowing them to return to their homes and reclaim most of their property. It was a controversial move that stirred up considerable debate. Critics argued it was too lenient while supporters saw it as a necessary step towards healing the nation's wounds. However, granting amnesty was just one piece of the puzzle. The Confederate soldiers were also required to swear an oath of allegiance to the United States pledging their loyalty to the Union. The reintegration process was a delicate balancing act, attempting to restore peace without igniting further resentment or conflict. Yet the most transformative aspect of the Reconstruction era was perhaps the legal and societal changes that came with the abolition of slavery. The 13th, 14th and 15th Amendments were passed, granting former slaves their freedom, citizenship and the right to vote. These monumental changes redefined the very fabric of American society, marking a significant shift in the nation's identity. The Reconstruction era was not just about rebuilding the South, it was about redefining what it meant to be an American. It was a time of change, challenge and ultimately a new beginning. Beyond the political and economic changes, the war left deep psychological scars. The echoes of cannon fire and the haunting images of battlefields stained red were not easily forgotten. Confederate soldiers, once proud and strong, found themselves grappling with an unfamiliar enemy, their own minds. Loss was an ever-present spectre. Loss of comrades, loss of a way of life, loss of a cause they had believed in. The trauma of such loss was profound, a wound that time struggled to heal. In the silence of peacetime, the soldiers were left to confront their memories and the harsh reality of a transformed society. They were no longer heroes of a cause, but remnants of a defeated rebellion. The struggle to find a new identity in a changed nation was a daunting task. The war may have ended, but for many veterans, the battle raged on within. The memory of the Confederacy and its soldiers is a contentious topic in American history. While some view Confederate soldiers as heroes who fought bravely for their homes and their way of life, others see them as traitors who waged war against their own country to uphold the institution of slavery. In the heart of the South, monuments and memorials stand as silent reminders of the Confederacy. These stone soldiers, forever frozen in time, are a testament to the enduring legacy of the Confederate soldier. Yet they are also the focus of intense debates. Do they represent a heritage to be honored or a history to be forgotten? The legacy of the Confederate soldier is complex, intertwined with themes of rebellion, Southern heritage, and the painful history of American slavery. It's a legacy that continues to spark discussions, drive research, and fuel cultural debates. The legacy of the Confederate soldier, a symbol of rebellion, a symbol of Southern heritage, a symbol forever etched in the fabric of American history,